One bit of breaking news that we've just received. The Swiss government says it is adopting the EU sanctions package on Russia and will respect and enforce the same sanctions that the European Union has announced. That's a huge move because Switzerland, of course, traditionally remains neutral at all times in all conflicts. So this is a fresh indication of the outrage uh, that has spread throughout Europe, sparked by uh, the invasion of Ukraine ordered by Russian President Vladimir Putin. The Swiss say they will adopt and implement the EU sanctions on Russia. Now the impact of the crisis in Ukraine on the world of tech. Facebook's parent company Meta says it has uncovered a Russian hacking campaign against the Ukrainian military, the government and journalists on its platform. Facebook owner Meta Platforms said a hacking group used the social media website to target a handful of public figures in Ukraine, including prominent military officials, politicians and a journalist. It also said it had separately removed a network of about 40 fake accounts, groups and pages across Facebook and Instagram, targeting people in Ukraine for violating its rules against coordinated, inauthentic behaviour. In a blog post on Monday, Meta attributed the hacking efforts to a group known as Ghostwriter, which it said successfully gained access to the target's social media accounts. Meta's security team said it had taken steps to secure targeted accounts and had blocked the phishing domains used by the hackers. It declined to give the names of any of the targets, but said it had alerted users where possible. A spokesperson for Twitter said it had also suspended more than a dozen accounts and blocked the sharing of several links for violating its rules against platform manipulation and spam. The crisis in Ukraine has seen escalating clashes between Moscow and big tech. On Friday, Russia said it would partially restrict access to Facebook. Twitter also said its service was being restricted for some Russian users on Saturday.